Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Tuesday night prayer altar. Everyone excited to be here tonight? Worship Jesus. Lift him high. <laughs> hey, the joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> Oh, right now, if you could just close your eyes. Just focus your eyes right now on Jesus. And just lay down all the distractions, all the worries, whatever happened the day, whatever you're coming in here and carrying, any weight. Just lay it down right now on his feet. Just release it to him. Surrender it to him. You're not meant to carry it anyway. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Just release that right now. Any worries, any things you're facing right now, just release that. And just focus on him. He's the only one worthy of our attention, of all our devotion, of all our honor. He's the only one that's worthy. And right now in your heart, think of things you're thankful for, for him. What are you grateful to Jesus about? Just focus on that right now. List them off in your head right now. What are you thankful for? that he's a good, good father. And Lord, right now, we ask you to come. We ask you to come. We're here tonight, Lord, just to honor you, just to love you, to establish your lordship in this place, in this area, in our hearts and in this city, Jesus. Would you just come? Let us love on you tonight. Open our eyes to see you. Open our ears to hear you. Holy Spirit, come. Reveal Jesus to us tonight. Reveal his majesty, his glory, his splendor, his beauty. Lord, mark us tonight. Mark us tonight. Mark hearts tonight, Jesus. May we see. And the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him bless his name for the Lord is good his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations Good. 
goodness. Think of his faithfulness. Think of his steadfast love.
and I know we just we celebrated Resurrection Sunday and Good Friday. But right now, the Holy Lamb of God died on the cross, suffered. He's known as the Man of Sorrows. wants us to walk in the finished work of the cross. He wants to walk for it in the victory that he paid the price for in our healing he already paid the price for. For he has redeemed us. He has healed hearts. It's already done. When he said it is finished, it's another Greek word, telestai. which means from the past, the present, and the future. It's finished. So can we just behold the Lamb right now? Just behold the Lamb. I'm going to read a passage in Isaiah. He was despised and rejected by man, a man of sorrow, familiar with suffering, like one from whose man's hides their face from. He was despised, and he was esteem him not. Surely he took up our infirmities. He carried our sorrows. Yet we consider him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We were all like sheep going astray. Each of us has turned his own ways. And the Lord has laid on him the inequities of us all. Of us all. Jesus. Would you give us all an image, Lord, right now of the lamb that was slain the holy lamb of God that was slain. That you came fully God, fully man in bodily form. You took them stripes upon your back for our healing. Them crown of thorns was pushed in your head for our deliverance of mind, of all depression and anxiety. You took up all our shame, all our guilt. You took up us as orphans. So now we are adopted by you as sons and daughters. We praise you, Lord. We praise the Lamb of God who still bears the scars right now. Lord, I ask you right now, would you just reveal yourself to your sons and daughters tonight? Them scars that you still have in your hands, in your feet, on your back, on your side. 
on your face where your beard was torn out. Would you just reveal it right now to your sons and daughters? Open their eyes to see you. Because you're so holy. You're the holy lamb of God. But all the scars you still bear to remind us of your internal love for us, your undivided love for us. Lord, help us. Help us to love you. Help us to love you more, Jesus. Help us to walk in the victory that you died for us to walk in. Help us to walk in the fullness of the work of the cross in and through our lives, Lord Jesus. Help us to surrender all to you tonight, Jesus. That we lack nothing when we're with you. We lack nothing. You paid it all. say that name right now, Jesus. 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 We cry out to you tonight. We cry out, Jesus. If we're struggling to see you, Lord, to see you rightly, we cry out Jesus tonight. If we're struggling in our physical bodies, we cry out Jesus tonight because it's enough. If there's brokenness in our heart, we cry out Jesus. If we feel like orphans, we cry out Jesus because we're your sons and daughters. If we're held captive by bondage, we cry out Jesus because them chains are broken in Jesus' name. Jesus, Jesus, Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to us. Our risen Lord, who still bears the scars. Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 and on says, 
adopt the same attitude as so as that of Christ Jesus, who existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be exploited. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a servant, taking on the likeness of humanity. And when he had come as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. For this reason, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. And we've been singing about that. So that in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the and, and, and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So tonight, Lord, we, we come to you. Lord, and first, Lord, we empty ourselves from our selfishness, from our guilt, from, from, from our selfishness, for us to be filled with more of you, Lord. Lord, we, we put at your feet our dreams, Lord, our lives, Lord, and we say, Jesus, come and have your way. Lord, come and take upon our lives, Lord. Lead us, Lord. Come on, can you just tell the Lord, if that's your prayer tonight, can you just tell the Lord, Lord, today, lead us. Show us more of you. Lead me to you. Lead me to you, Lord, so that we, so that we may serve like the king, that we may serve you as the king that you are. And that we may represent you, Jesus. And may we reflect the way of you who is worthy of it all. Lord, I pray for a generation of people, Lord, who will empty themselves at your feet, Father God, just to, just to be able to acquire of your image, just to be able to acquire of your character, Lord, to become more like you, Father God, not seeking ministry, not seeking an opportunity, but seeking you who is the greatest reward, Father. I pray, Lord God, that our eyes will be so fixed on you, Father God, that nothing will distract us, Lord God. Lord, may we be people whose love for you is reflected by our obedience. Lord, may our obedience speak louder than, than our words. Lord, may we, may we not be people, Father God, who just have a good talk, but may we be people who have a great walk with you. Father God, and even in our weakness, Lord, even when it's hard, may we be people who can lean on to you, who can lean upon the guidance of the Holy Spirit, who can lean upon the truth of your word. So may we, so we may become and we can become a reflection and representatives of you all over this earth, Father. Lord, Lord may we be people who live our lives always seeking to give you glory and to bring glory to the Father. Lord, nothing that we do is for our own benefit or for our own recognition, Father God, but it's to bring you glory, God. And today we unite, Father God, and we ask that you will use us, Lord, so that you may be glorified. So that you may be glorified, Lord. So outside of this world, people may know you, Lord. That in our families, people will see you, Lord. That in our workplaces, people will see you, Father God. That when we when we go to different places, Lord, people will see you, Lord, Father God. And they will not have even an opportunity just to turn away, Father God. But they will say, like, look, I don't know who you're following. I don't know what you're doing. But I want that who you have found, Lord. And I pray, Father God, that we will be able to give them and point them to Jesus. Lord, and I pray that as your people, Father God, we may take upon the way that Jesus laid out for us. Lord, may we be people of the word. Lord, may we be people who, who live the way that you called us to. Lord, and even in our weakness, Father God, even when we don't understand, Lord, may we be people who can take upon your word, God, and says, I'm going to do this because simply just because you told me to do it. I'm going to do this simply because you call me to do it. Father God, and even when we don't understand it, we may not see things happen, Father God. Lord, may I, I pray, Father God, that, that we will rest upon the fact that we have been obedient to you. 
and that we will trust that you are in control and that you are the the we Lord may that we will be able to trust upon knowing the truth that it's in your word God and not the expectations that the world is placing upon us to live lives a certain way of to do things a certain way Father God but that we will live according to your every word that comes out of your mouth Lord and I pray that we will decrease so you may increase Father God so we will take upon you Lord, so we can lead others unto you. Awaken us, Lord. Lord, awaken a hunger in our lives for more of you. Awaken, Lord, a desire for more of your word. Lord, awaken a desire, Lord, for, for more of your presence. Lord, that we will that we will leave like aching, Father God, literally aching in our hearts for more of you. Lord, you are our one desire. You are the thing that we are after, the one that we are after, Lord. Lord, we're not here for, for the benefits of, of just, just, just coming to you, Lord, but we're here for you. And in that, Lord, we rejoice. And in that, Lord, we, we, we give thanks because we have you. Lord, so I thank you for each and every person in this room. And I pray, Lord, that we may continue to live according to your will and your will alone. In Jesus' name, amen. I
desire be to be with you. May my desire be to love on you. May my desire be to love your word, Jesus. Thank you.
I just feel in my heart the Lord wants us to respond. He wants us to respond. He wants us to lay down our ways. He wants us to lay down our understanding to acknowledge that his way is better. And I ask you right now, it might just be changing your position, it might be coming down to the altar, it might be standing up in full surrender, it might be laying down on your face and say, Lord, I give you all. I choose to follow you. I choose to pick up my cross. I choose to die daily to myself. So would you just respond to him tonight? Don't miss out on this. Respond to him right now. He's here. He's in the room. He's walking among about us. Would you respond to his touch right now? He's calling us deeper. He wants to create a pure heart in us. He wants to renew a steadfast spirit in us. But he's longing for us to acknowledge him. He's longing for us to respond to his love right now. These altars are open. Whatever he lays on your heart to do, obey. Just obey.
Search our hearts, O oh Lord. Search our hearts. Lord, that our hearts may be pure before you. Search our hearts, O oh Lord. Lord, if there is anything that is getting on the way of you, and us, Lord. 
May your fire burn it all away. Lord, search our hearts. Search our hearts, oh Lord. The motives that we have, the intentions that we have, the reactions, the words that come out of this heart. You know, your word says that this is the treasure. This is a treasure box, and here we treasure. Lord, may your word be what it's in this heart, what's in our heart. Search our hearts, Lord. Search our hearts, Lord. Our every emotion, our every, our every motivation, search our hearts, O Lord. Search our hearts, O Lord. Lord, and may we respond when you see something or when you want something. Lord, may we come to you and may we say, Jesus, you can have it all. Lord, may we not hide from you. Lord, may we not cover ourselves with something that does not come from you. Lord, may we clothe ourselves with righteousness. And righteousness alone, the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Lord, but search our hearts, Lord. Our motives, our intentions, the desires. Even our responses, God, as we deal with people, search our hearts, Lord. Search our hearts, Abba. Lord, and I know that you will lead us into conviction, not because you're trying to punish us, Lord, but because you're mighty in love with us. And you don't want nothing to separate us from you. So you want pure hearts for your children. You want clean hands from your children. You want pure hearts and clean hands. Lord, may you find those in this house. Lord, may you find those in this house. Lord, may you find broken hearts. Lord, I pray that you will find repentance on this house. Lord, I pray that you will find brokenness on this house. Lord, I pray that you will find pure hearts and clean hands. Teach us, O oh Lord. Lord, that when we read your word, God, as in as your word penetrates our hearts and reveal the intentions of the heart, God, may we respond to you. May we respond to you. And may we not take your word for granted, but may we respond to you. come like David did before you laying it all out we love you Lord search your hearts Lord 
have this image. And I saw Jesus' hands. And he was uprooting things in our hearts, blockages in our hearts. He was removing them. And I know it's painful, but it's necessary. It's necessary, just like you would go. <laughs> if you had a blockage in your heart, you would go and have the heart surgeon open it up. And that's what he's doing right now. He's opening up the vessels in your heart, these blockages of bitterness, of fear, the lies you're believing. One of the lies I heard, it's from somebody in here, that it's too late. I want you to know he's the redeemer of time, that he can multiply your days. But right now, just like lean into that process. Let the surgeon do his work. He is the master surgeon. And there's areas in, this, in our hearts that only he can touch. But we have to let him. We have to give him permission to do so. And would you just lean in right now? Would you say, Lord, I just surrender that to you right now. Have your way. Remove it, Lord. Uproot it. Clear it, Jesus creating me that pure heart because the pure heart shall see his face and that's what he longs to reveal to us all of us it's all level at the cross it's all leveled it's for all of us and some of the things he's uprooting is your past Maybe you haven't forgiven yourself. And it's time. It's time to forgive yourself right now. It's time just to lay that at Jesus' feet. He paid the price for it. It's already done. Lord, I pray if there's any offense in our heart right now, Jesus towards ourself, towards others, even towards you, Jesus. We just lay that down. We lay that down right in this moment, Lord. We surrender to you right now in this moment, Lord. We say, have your way, Lord. We lay down our rights to be offended. We lay down our rights to be offended right now. Restore our hearts, Lord. Restore our hearts. <sighs> create, Lord, create. Create, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Let your spirit flow in and through our hearts openly and freely. Right now, Lord, that's what you long for. That's what you desire to be completely one with us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We welcome your discipline, Lord. We welcome your correction. Because I know you do it because, number one, you're good. But because you love us and you want what's best for us even if we don't understand it. Lord, show us any areas where we've been deceived, Lord. Jesus. Lord, help us to see
see one another as how you see them. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. He's still working. He's still working in our hearts right now. Oh, maybe it's a painful memory he's bringing up. And he just wants to touch it. He wants to heal it. He wants to reveal himself in that memory that he was there. And he brought you through. Oh, we need you, Jesus. We need you. We need you, Jesus. Oh, our hearts cry out. We need you. We need you. Oh, Lord, purify our hearts. Purify our hearts, Lord. So that we can see you in all your glory. That we can love you fully, Lord. Jesus, we need you. right now over any lies that we're believing right now would you just speak your truth would you just wash your word of truth over our minds right now of any lies from the enemy any worldly mindsets Lord would you just wash it with your word with your truth right now Holy Spirit right now our identity in you right now Lord would you restore it Lord would you restore it God remove the scales of our eyes Lord to see who we are in you Jesus oh Jesus because you are the redeemer you are the restorer of all things nothing is too hard for you your hand is not short. Oh, Jesus. I just see his hands right now. Just take a healing slab over your hearts. The place that was once uprooted, he's just covering over it. With his blood, it's covering over, it's healing it. He wants to fill every single inch. Just let him, let him right now. are being removed right now. No more. You're not going to have to deal with that anymore. Jesus, Jesus. That cloud that's over someone's mind is being removed right now in Jesus' name. His light is actually shining through and it's disintegrating right now. over our heads, over our minds. Because he's our shield. He's our shield. Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing in and through us, Jesus. You're so kind. You're so kind. Nothing goes unnoticed by you. Nothing. now, would you replace our hunger for things of this world? Let us hunger after you, Lord. Replace them things, Lord. Them idols in our life that we run to for comfort, Lord. Father God, forgive us. Lord, help us to run towards you, Lord, for everything. Because you have, you possess everything we need to walk this life. to fix our gaze on you, Jesus. Mm. Help us always to crave your presence. Oh, Jesus, help us to always crave your presence, Lord. Increase our hunger, God. Increase our hunger right now. For you, Jesus, increase our hunger, Lord, to know you at any cost. Jesus. Lord, I pray for each and every one of us in this room, God, for just a deep, deeper, deeper revelation of you, Jesus. You're calling us deeper, Lord. You're calling us, our roots, to go deeper into you right now deeper into you right now, Jesus. Because that's where we're safe. When our roots go deep, deep, deep into you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. right now, Lord, of dreams and visions, Lord, of you right now. I pray for an increase, Lord, over all of us right now, Lord Jesus. beginnings. I just hear new beginnings. Some of you, you walk into new beginnings, new seasons. Let him guide you. Let him go before you. Just follow. Just follow. That's all you have to do is just follow. You don't have to worry about making decisions. Just follow him. He'll lead you. Let him be the good shepherd in and through our lives. Let him lead us. Because he who has promised is faithful. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. We thank you for your 
goodness, your mercy. That's new every single morning, Lord. Let us wake up every single morning and our first thought is you, Jesus. Our first thought is you, seeking you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray that for myself. I pray that for all of us here. Let us thirst and hunger for righteousness. Oh, Jesus, you are the well that never goes dry. And Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for what you did tonight, Lord. I pray you seal it right now in your blood. Seal it right now in your blood, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the cross. May we never forget. May we never take it lightly. But like Paul says, I want to know Christ. Yes, and know him crucified. Oh, Lord, may that be the theme of our life, Lord. To know you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. May you continue what you started here tonight. I thank you that you're going to bring it forth in completion because you are the author and perfecter of our faith. And you always finish what you started. Every word of your mouth, that comes out will accomplish what it's set out to do. And we thank you tonight, Jesus. Meet us tonight in our sleep. Meet us in tomorrow morning, Jesus. Let us be waiting for you. Let us respond in a matter that's worthy of you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.